Fill in the blanks in the following proof by contradiction that there is no least positive real number. Now when you're doing proof by contradiction, instead of proving that this statement is true, the goal is to prove that the negation of the statement is false. And the reason we do this is because according to the law of non-contradiction, a statement is either true or it's false. Or put another way, either this statement is true or the negation is true. Now in this proof, if we suppose not, then that means we're supposing something that is false. When you assume something that is false, that is immediately a contradiction. Right now, the contradiction is not in your face like it will be at the end of this proof. The goal of the proof by contradiction is to deduce a contradiction. And that's actually the answer to the first question. Suppose that there is a least positive real number x. That's the negation of the thing that we're trying to prove. So we're assuming a falsehood, which sounds absurd, and it is. But we have to bring out a contradiction. And funny enough, this channel is called Contradictoriness because the contradictoriness of something is measured by how in your face a contradiction is. The contradiction already exists but it's not so in your face. The contradiction is when we suppose that a false statement is true. But to explain why that's a contradiction, we need to bring that contradiction out. So we must deduce a contradiction. Consider the number x over two. Now, why might we consider this specific number x over two? Well, it's because x is the least positive real number. x over two is going to also be a positive real number that is less than the least positive real number, which is gonna be the very end here where we bring out the contradiction to the reader. So that's why we're considering this number. This number is going to be a problem relative to this assumption that there is a least positive real number x. Since x is a positive real number, x over two is also a positive real number. In addition, we can deduce that x over two is less than x by multiplying both sides of the inequality one over two by x and dividing by two. If you take the inequality one is less than two, multiply both sides by x, which we can do because x is a positive real number, and so we don't have to flip the inequality symbol. And then we divide both sides by two to get x over two is less than x. So hence, x over two is a positive real number that is less than the least positive real number. And this is where we tell the reader what the contradiction is blatantly. We have a positive real number that is less than the least positive real number. The contradiction is that a least positive real number should be the smallest positive real number, yet here we have another positive real number that is smaller than the smallest positive real number. That's not possible. And so because the contradiction is so in your face, then that means we must have done something wrong. This is a contradiction. Now, what does it mean to find a contradiction? That means that we assumed something that was false, but there was only one assumption that we made. We assumed that this statement that we're trying to prove was in fact false. And by assuming that this true statement was false, we led to a contradiction. By assuming that a false statement was true, we lead to a contradiction, which means that the false statement that we assumed is definitely false. So now that we have a contradiction, this calls into question our assumptions. Now we've only made one assumption, specifically that there is a least positive real number. So by making this statement, we lead to a contradiction, which means our assumption is false. It's false that there is a least positive real number. And so because the supposition is false, there is no least positive real number. So we have proven this statement to be true because we showed that the negation of the statement leads to a contradiction. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next video.